Good morning. Uh, today I thought I would show you a box for a boy 10 to 14. This was one of the boxes I did in uh, baseball theme. This one, I kind of started with things for the Seattle Mariners. Uh, and then it went from there. So, a lot of the things you're going to see are the colors of the Seattle Mariners. And then there's a spattering of baseball stuff. I didn't quite have enough baseball stuff, but I wanted to get it packed because it's almost the end of summer and I'm a teacher, so I'm going to be real busy real quick. All right, so this is a page from a calendar that I've taped on the top. Uh, and I wrote God loves you inside in Mariner's colors. All right, so that's what he sees when he gets his box. This one has something kind of unusual. Um, it has a full outfit for a boy 10 to 14. I don't usually do a full outfit. Um, just because their clothes are so much bigger and take up room. But um, this is a seven quart box. So there was a little more room. All right. So he's got this muscle shirt. The nice bright Seattle sports team colors. Uh, dry wick. This is... I uh, let it works. Okay, so that's a Walmart that I ordered online. I mean, a multi pack, I believe. So here's what I was talking about. He has a pair of sweatpants, which isn't something I usually do, but um, they were a dollar when I got them. This is a youth extra large, fourteen sixteen. Um, so they match the shirt. Even, well, in color, not really in temperature, but, eh. Okay, and then he has a pair of crew socks. Black and white socks. And some underwear. There's more underwear floating around in here, I'm pretty sure. All right, and then he has a Mariners baseball hat. So these also were a dollar at Walmart. Um, they were unmarked at the time. This was last summer, so I don't know if you'll find that big, good a deal. They never seem to mark the clearance on the local sports uh, wear. I've noticed I've gotten shirts and hats and all kinds of things. Never said it was on sale. So just a thought if you have time to scan stuff. All right, he has soap and a washcloth. I usually save the Irish Spring for the big boys because big boys smell. And so that's for him. He has a kick sack, hacky sack. He also has a baseball. So I'll go with that there. This is his friend, his tiger here. I should have done like a mariner moose, but I didn't have any moose. So <laughs> he just gets one that's for the big guys. Uh, I believe this is a Webkins uh, brand. So he's going in there. I do put the stuffies, even in the big boys. Alright, here's more underwear. Oh, and another pair of socks. Oh, these are Black Panther socks. Just for something fun. Alright, he has a cup from our local baseball team, the Yakima Valley Pippins, which happen to have similar colors to the Mariners, so that was a freebie at the game. Inside it, we have a bracelet kit. This one's a nautical theme left over from a VBS several years ago. Um, I believe it says God saves us when he puts it together. A little bendy robot from Raymond Getty's company. A uh, fidget ball. Big kids seem to get the smaller toys. You ever notice that? A pop keychain. Trying to match the colors there. A Batman keychain. So we got, oh, these are his Hot Wheels stuff. All right, so for his Hot Wheels, we've got three cars, and we've got a couple of little road sign cone. Yeah. Oh, and this little guy fell out. Remember these? I don't know what you call them, pom-pom pets or whatever. They're just fun. Yeah, so as a wooden paddle boat, when you put it together, the you can wind it up and let her go. Another VBS leftover craft. Some playing cards, Avengers. Dark blue. 
We got a couple other things in here. Uh, let's see this play pack. Jurassic Park. This is a Mariner's um, Gator, cooling gator. I left it in the package so you could kind of see what it is and what you could do with it on the back. So it's one of those face mask replacements, but it's also uh, one of those ones where you can get it wet and it cools you. So kind of useful anyway to put on your neck. School supply pouch. Going with the green and blue. And he's got a pair of blue scissors in there, a green and a blue eraser, green and the blue cap erasers, green sharpener, green and blue sharpie. Um, he's also got some pencils, a uh, short ruler is in there, and a stencil of dinosaurs. And there's some pens in there too, I believe. Yeah, there's some pens. So that's there. He has a book. Disney book, The Incredibles, which actually the, I know it's just a Disney book, little hardback, but some of the pictures are pretty cool. So, that's for him. A few more artsy things in here. We've got a uh, felt color. I know that seems rather juvenile, but I think it's fun because... Um, I have a student, uh, she was 17 at the time. I had some of these in my prize box in my classroom, and this is what he picked, which I thought was fun. So, because of Brayden, <laughs> these go in 10 to 14 year old boy boxes sometimes. We have a metal earth sculpture. These are a steel model kit. You bend it and put the tabs in and you can turn it into the little figure. Um, it is possible to do it without tools. I've done one. No glue required. But they are very sharp. I would never put it in a little kid. Um, well, not very sharp. You know what I mean. Like, you you got to be a big kid paying attention. You don't want a little kid messing with it. Then we have a very detailed Sharpie brand Connect the Dots coloring book. Uh, Where did I get those? I think I got those from there. Is the crayon color pencils, not crayons. What am I saying? I almost said pencil crayons for my Canadian friends to go with that. And we've got a comb, and I'm sure there's a toothbrush in here somewhere, and a foam glider plane. This toothbrush must be underneath. I often put the toothbrushes back in the curl in the back of the box. Um, just to take up that awkward space. So, yep, it was in there. All right, and then he has a sports-themed notebook for the baseball thing. Like I said, it started out with baseball, but I don't have a ton of baseball stuff, so we got what we got. And then blue folder. Inside the folder, he has some Seattle Mariners stickers. And some other Christmas stickers. This is a little fold-up game where you fold the ball into a triangle and flick it with your finger through the goalpost. So you might have played that when you were a kid. A uh, note from myself. These are some baseball cards from our Yakwa Pippins baseball team that they gave away free at a game. And there's a couple of giant color sheets here. I think he's got an eagle and a leopard or a jaguar. So that's in there. So there you go. Uh, Baseball-ish. Seattle Mariners-ish. Box for a 10 to 14 year old boy. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thank you for watching.